It was just a nightmare. It's fine. Oh, but that guy was so adorable. Hello. <laughs> What's up, guys? It is I, your favorite boy, back at it once again in the flesh, and I will prove it to you. Ow! Fuck! That shit hurt it. And you know what? All I gotta say is. Woo! It's time to party. What other time would it be? I mean, come on, you guys know me. I'm the YouTube guy. Whenever I'm here on your screen, it's party time. Cue the confetti. Hell yeah. But all right, <clears throat> I just have one thing I wanna say. I don't know how, and I don't really know why, but my emo phase just went viral on TikTok. Uh, a million views in two days? Are you guys freaking me right now? You guys gotta be yanking my chain. There's no way that's real. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm just really confused right now. I don't know why an old video of little emo me would go viral like that. I mean, to get a million views and people seem to love him. People seem to love him. And I'm just really confused and I don't know why. She's got a love like whoa. Oh, okay. It all makes sense now. He's fucking adorable. I mean, come on. Even I can't deny that. Just look at him. He's pretty damn cute. I mean, I'm still pretty cute though, right? And you want to know what's even crazier is the fact that this isn't even the first time that an old video of Emo Me has gone viral on TikTok. <laughs> Five million views. It Am I that powerful? You know, I, I don't even know what to say. Besides, thank you for making little emo me feel so welcome. Especially because he is a very awkward small bean and he needs that. So since my TikTok went viral, it got a lot of comments. Normally I get like three comments. This one got a few thousand. And that's, that, all I gotta say is that is a lot of attention and I'm loving every second of it. So, since my TikTok did get a lot of comments, I figured we might as well take a look at some of them because why not? I mean, we gotta see what the people are saying. I mean, I gotta keep up with what the fans are saying. <laughs> There's so many fans now. Cue the applause. Thank you. Thank you. Hell yeah. I could get used to that. Okay, so let's just go ahead and dive into these comments because I'm ready. Hank Green says, this is important. You damn right it is. Wait is that the Hank Green? Okay, hold the phone, people. Is that the Hank Green that created VidCon? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. So you're telling me the guy that created VidCon commented on my... My... T <gasps> okay. Oh my god, it's so nice to be conscious again. Don't worry. I was only unconscious for a few hours, so... That right there is just insane. My mind has officially been blown. You're telling me the creator of VidCon himself commented on one of my TikToks? Hank, if you're watching this, all I gotta say is it is an absolute honor that you commented on my TikTok. And also, does this mean I can go to VidCon for free next summer, or...? And the next comment we got came from Viva La Tiger one I thought this was a cosplay for Tina Belcher at first. I'm sorry. Okay, so if you're unaware, this is Tina Belcher, and then this is me. I, I don't know about you guys, but I, I don't see the resemblance at all. But I did have to respond to the girl and let her know exactly what's going on here. Um, I am Tina. Yes, it is I. I am Tina. I've been getting a lot of applause this video, and I like it. Wait, where'd it go? What the fuck? Can you turn that back on? All right, the next comment came from Harley B-Man. It's the hair tucked into the glasses for me. Okay, look, I got so many comments saying this, and all I gotta say is even to this day, I have no clue how else I could have possibly worn those glasses. I mean, come on, people. I could not help the fact that my luscious bangs lay beautifully behind the glasses. Like, what else am I supposed to do? And the next comment comes from Stinky121. Glow down. I miss him. Wow. Okay, that comment, I'll admit, it kind of hurts. Mainly because I know it's true. I know for a fact that I will never be as majestic as I was in 2010. And you know what? I've accepted that. I mean the hair, the glasses, the creepy expressionless face. I'll never be able to achieve that look again. The next comment comes from Dana Banana. You were my dream boyfriend in middle school. I gotta say, I am shocked at the amount of people that commented this. Like, I am actually super confused. I'm shocked right now, guys. You have no idea. So basically, let me get this straight. You're telling me that I was people's dream boyfriend in middle school and high school? Okay, if that's true, then can someone tell me why I never had a girlfriend in school? Hmm? 
Because I would really like to know. Because I remember walking around high school and having girls look the other way when they saw me coming. But I'm sure it was just because my hair back then. It was just too beautiful and they were all intimidated. So it's, it's fine. No hard feelings. And now, the comment I got more than anything else on this video. How healthy and soft your hair looks makes me jealous. This was by far the most commented thing on this video. But I mean, I get it. I get it. Look at the hair. It was incredible. It was silky. It was smooth. The shine of that hair could blind a man. And a million people asked me how I used to do my hair. So I'll, I'll reveal my secret. I'm feeling nice today. All right, so the big secret, the way I used to do my hair to achieve this beautiful, majestic mane. My secret ingredient is Tresemme shampoo, conditioner, and heat protectant. You're welcome. Okay, I just wanna take a look at one more comment and I gotta say, I did see this a lot too. How did TikTok know that I belonged on official Banff TikTok when even I didn't remember? The amount of people that saw this TikTok that used to watch my old videos is blowing my mind. First of all, I can't believe so many people remember me in the first place. I just can't believe that so many people have seen this face. Huh? And of course, like of all faces, they saw that one. Great. Why not this one? I thought this one was decent. All I gotta say is this just further proves that TikTok knows us better than we know ourselves. But all right, besides all those lovely comments, I had a lot of people tell me that little emo me looked like someone else. So I figured we might as well take a look at some of these people and see if I actually look like them or that I used to look like them. Let's just take a look, shall we? All right, so the number one most commented person that people said I looked like was Vector. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Um, was this supposed to be an insult or? I mean, the hair is like somewhat maybe kind of similar. Not really though. But I guess when you pair it with the glasses, okay, I'll accept it. I kind of look like him a little bit. And the next person that people said I look kind of similar to was Mitchell Musso. This one I can kind of agree with. I mean, obviously it's all in the hair. The flow, it's just, it's just very similar. And next on the list, apparently I used to look like Rico from Hannah Montana. And once again, I used to get this comment all the time, but I I never saw it. I don't really see the resemblance there. Maybe, just maybe, you guys need glasses. And last but not least, the last commented person that people said I look kind of like was the emo kid from the Lorax. Okay, this one I can see. I see the resemblance. Can, can we just get like a quick side by side? Oh man, okay, now I see it. They could practically be brothers from different mothers, you know? I mean, they both have like a really nice flow, although mine was straighter. It was the straightest in the country. But yeah, I could see it. It's pretty close. Um, can we get a round of applause? Also, last thing, I promise this is the last thing in this video. I just wanna mention that we officially hit 5,000 subscribers. Hell yeah, no, that's a milestone right there. We're moving slow, but we're moving steady. I like it. But okay, that is gonna do it for this video. Let me just say, if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up for me. And also, please subscribe if you're new here. I would appreciate it. And also, let me know in a comment below what you thought of Emo Me. I mean, everyone else seems to love him, so if you do too, I'm not surprised. You know what? I'm thinking I wanna end this video just a little bit differently, so we're gonna end it with a dance party. Feel free to join me.